what have I just watched? What have you just watched? Leicester 4, Manchester United 2. Man United 1-0 up thanks to a wonderful goal from Mason Greenwood. But it didn't matter. Tielemans, it looked like a cross. Jesus Christ. 2-1, two, 2-0, one, two, 3-2, two, 4-2. Two. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, what the fuck? I'm sorry. You, there's nothing else you can do but point the finger there. And I, you look, you know I'm a staunch supporter of Solskjaer, but I'm not going to defend the undefendable. And what we saw today was completely undefendable from Manchester United. When Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been under pressure before, when his job has been in question, the players have responded. The players have absolutely responded. But I tell you what, today they did not. The players collapsed. Manchester United collapsed. And that is the worst, worst possible thing that Solskjaer could have asked for. And it was all self-inflicted. What the hell was Harry Maguire doing in that starting eleven? It, it was odd. It seemed odd. He didn't train until Thursday. Lo and behold, who makes the catastrophic mistake for that goal? Short pass from the head. Doesn't matter. Move your fucking feet, Harry. You could have got that ball easily. United. Jesus. And I thought that starting 11 was probably one of the best ones we could have had. Popper and Matic I thought was good. But look, we got overran. There is nothing you can really take from that game. If you take Greenwood's incredible individual goal. If you take the fact that Rashford came back and scored on his return. And that fingertip save from De Gea. You're scraping the barrel. We just got pumped by Leicester in a game where Solskjaer needed both a performance and a result. Ahead of a set of fixtures that includes Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea and Arsenal in the next nine games. Four of the next nine games are those. Solskjaer is under massive scrutiny. I know you want to you see me here shouting Solskjaer out. I'm not going to be doing that. But what in the fuck is that about, man? There, that is completely inexcusable to go from 1-0 up with that team, with the players that we have, with the quality that we have, to, to let that happen against the Leicester team that had eight points from seven games, I think, so far this season. And they've gone now and scored four against us. That last one there, an absolute dagger to the heart after what we just witnessed. But the set-piece coaches, Eric Ramsey, I was praising him, considering we only conceded one against Aston Villa. What the fuck was that? Jesus! So he unchoose go and then, the oh, mate. Solskjaer, you're making it really, really goddamn hard to defend you. I'm seeing continued patterns of poor play and continued negative patterns repeating themselves. And the international break was an opportunity for Manchester United to hit that reset button. To bring it back in, to calm it down, to say, look, let's get things back on track. Instead, we've come back and we look worse. 10 times worse. That today was not even Sunday league. I'd be pissed off if I went at 11am hungover and my teammates played like that. It was truly abysmal. Harry Maguire, he shouldn't have been in there. That was that was Solskjaer's fault, ultimately, for putting him in that team. I don't care if Harry Maguire said he's ready. You know he's not ready. He's been injured and he didn't train until Thursday. Is that how little you trust Eric Bailly? He's a footballer. Just sell him. Bin him off then. If you're going to play Harry Maguire there. Fuck. I've sworn plenty in this. Gee, oh my God. There's no... <sighs> and we scored an equaliser. A wonderful pass from Lindelof. Over the top to Rashford. 2-2. What happens? 48 seconds. Even less than that, probably. We can see Jamie Vardy makes it 3-2. And then Dakar, was it Dakar at the end? Made it 4-2. Oh, mate, Solskjaer. Answer. G give me justification for that. I can't justify a thing that I've just seen there. And I understand... And I've understood, and I've, I've understood the feelings towards Solskjaer. That there has pushed me much further down the line than I thought I would be in a short space of time. Because it was such an all-encompassing defeat. And from front to back, beginning to end, another absolute shitstorm from Manchester United. And you, you could have said, oh, it's individual moment gave United the... Yeah, cool, individual moment gave us a goal. And it was the individual dumb moment from Harry Maguire that we conceded. You win as a team, you lose as a team. And United lost. Didn't just lose today as a team, got pumped. And Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm not going to isolate him. I don't want to isolate anybody. But his lack of pressing is, is really hurting Manchester United. And I can't see, I'll be honest, right now, I, 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 I wanted to see Pogba and Matic. And I, I was... Sort of pinning my hat on that being being something that, that changed. And I thought Matic played actually quite well today. 
But I suppose you can't play Matic alongside a player like Pogba, maybe, that doesn't have the sort of... Inter Pogba got outshone today by Tielemans. Tielemans, by far and away, the best central midfielder in that pitch. And they just passed through us. Donut FC cut through us like a hot knife through butter the entire game. It wasn't difficult for them. Pass, pass, pass through, create chance. Pass, pass, pass through, create chance. Our defence couldn't do anything. And as I said, what a lot of what I saw today was absolutely undefendable. Apparently, like all of Leicester's attacks. And inexcusable. And the finger has to go towards Solskjaer here. I'm not going to be see I'm not going to shout Solskjaer out, but I'll be honest. If I'm seeing that starting eleven there, and in that team there against Leicester, given what we've got coming up, right? We're 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 at the bottom of a, of a ladder which has got Liverpool, who just won five nil, has got City, who just won two nil there at home, I think against Burnley, and then we've got Chelsea and we've got Arsenal. It looks terrifying, really, for United, even bloody Arsenal at this point. <sighs> Deary me. I didn't expect that today. I expected both teams to score. I predicted that. I predicted 3-1 United and it was 4-2 Leicester. For United to collapse like that, that's the away record gone. Of one of the, I suppose, saving great. The away record meant, meant nothing for me. It was impressive. Very impressive. Of course it was. But it, it meant nothing. That would only mean something if you won the Premier League. It would be an, an additional stat. But other than that, it was just a stat padding stat. And Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Now, I don't know what the hell we do next. I don't know where we turn. Because I thought Pogba and Matic coming in would make a difference. I thought Marcus Rashford coming back would make a difference. And he did, he scored. But does he? Does Marcus Rashford defend for us? No. He'll go and finish that chance that he got. But then all of a sudden, if that's the team behind you, what are you supposed to do? Donut FC, midfield's gone. That back four, my God. Even De Gea's incredible save. And he made a save from Suyun, uh, in the corner and then it went to Suyunchu. The defensive organisation is non-existent. It's almost like we're match-fixing at this point. That's how bad we are defensively. Coaching at our club, I could be better. And I'm crap at football. Really. And I, as I said, at this point, it's getting very, very hard for me to defend Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I want him to be successful so bad. I can see the positives. But what I'm seeing there is catastrophically bad coaching. And Manchester United have just given Mike Feeney a new contract. Was it in the summer we gave Ole Gunnar Solskjaer a new contract? What are we doing? Are we just going to continue down the path? Where there is... That's what I'm saying, man. I'm supportive of Solskjaer, but progress has to be seen for that support to continue. And the results, it's a results-driven business, man. It's football. You win games, it's all good. You can look over what happened in the game. You're going to get pumped 4 2 by goddamn Leicester, who've been crap this season overall and didn't have Ndidi in that game either. Or for Fana. So you. Shit. What's your match react? What's your reaction after that? As I said, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm really, really, really struggling after that game. That was uh, humiliating. An absolutely humiliating performance. Uh, humiliating for Harry Maguire. Humiliating for every single Manchester United player. Humiliating for all those fans who travelled up. Oh, it wasn't that far, I suppose, at Leicester United. What's your reaction in the comments? Is that you done with Solskjaer? Is that you done with everything you're seeing? Is it really no the point of no return? I'll tell you what, that game was so bad that it's really going to push that agenda now. And I can completely understand it. You let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. What's your reaction? There's no man in the match. Where do we go from here? You let me know.